what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm jane if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today is going to be a chit chat for the girlies it's been a while since you know we had one so we're going to be talking about bbl tommy talk all of it today while i get ready for my date night this is not in any way a tutorial just I always like to say that in the beginning of every of my videos so that no one is looking forward to like some sort of glam look because I'm not the best at it. My aircon is on just in case there are any noise with this mic. But yeah, let's talk about this while it is happening. Guys, it is currently very hot in the Philippines but I really want to take pictures today that's actually why I'm doing my makeup. I have said it here several times on this channel that one day I'm definitely going to do my body. I'm not going to say that I don't love my body, but what I'm going to say is that I just think my body needs some sort of adjustment. I mean, I've got flat ass, okay, you guys. I have got flat ass and I really want to have bum bum. That's why I always say anybody that will marry in this life they must have bum bum in their family because I want my daughter to have bum bum which is a very weird thing but it's actually the truth there's been a BBL conversation going on on the internet the news kind of broke out this morning in the early hours of today so I'm going to give you guys a backstory I know the lady actually Christabel is really a nice person and if I say so myself and everyone that have encountered her will say how sweet her soul is and she's very beautiful you know her courage and everything and she's one person that I believe is a go-getter because of like things I've heard about her I'm not close to her back then in school I wasn't close to her but I had a friend that is close to her so I can you know tell you a little bit about her and all that and then she has done a very kind gesture for me i remember when i was you know a fresher in uni she literally bought me food one day like that she was like don't worry i pay for your food you know you're a smally you're a fresher she was like a year ahead of me i think so that's why i'm telling you guys that i i know this lady and she has an amazing body but even people with amazing bodies still have insecurities because why it is normal to have what insecurities so if she woke up one day and decided that she wanted to enhance her body nobody should go at her you know and all that but it's a sad thing that in the process of it she kind of you know encountered some sort of complications and she died that is the scary part you just don't know how it will turn out it's like you're gambling okay you are really really gambling with your life at that moment so i woke up today and i saw like she was trending on snapchat because obviously we have mutual friends and i'm like ah, why is she everywhere what is going on like everyone was posting her videos her producing rip i was really in shock but i didn't figure out what was going on so i went to I went to her Instagram and I saw that her last post was in February. I didn't even read the comment or anything and I left. I was like, ah, maybe she was sick. And then maybe from there she passed on. Then I usually don't read blogs or anything. Like I don't follow gist. Let me put it that way. I can wake up one day and just go on like Insta blog, gist lover, all those kind of pages just to like catch up with what has been happening. You know i don't comment or anything i don't even like you can't even see my likes there i was going through their page and i saw her picture lady businesswoman dies in this i was like eh like wait 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 a minute what's happening so i read a write-up from twitter that Insta blog posted tosin wrote it actually talking about like the whole bbl thing and how like the hospital have been ignoring her friends and all that and i was curious so i went ahead to message a close friend of mine that is her friend and i was like what's up like what's going on and everything and she kind of downloaded everything to me it's just a sad situation here because this girl is so full of life she's so young full of dreams i mean i've had the chance to speak with her sometime and she's so intelligent 
her carriage in school gosh oh. It's just a sad thing that she's gone so soon. For me, I really don't have an issue if you want to enhance your body because me too, I want to. I want to have bomb bomb. I want to. I don't know what procedure she really went to get, but whatever the case is, is a sad thing. And my condolences to her family and to people that are really close to her. Is everyone wants to look good and look like the reality of Instagram or the reality of social media or the reality of the society expectations of the society because I feel like people that want to do their body is also because of society one way or the other societal pressure to have a certain standard of body you know and it takes courage to actually outgrow those things and just be you and love your body for who you are not everybody can get that confidence i also have insecurities i'm insecure of my tummy and i want to take it out okay i'm also insecure about my butt it's okay to like have insecurities about those things and maybe you want to fix it but i feel like there are other means to fix these things they are very good shapewears that you can wear and you know you look very very snatch as good as you want to actually look in reality whenever you feel like you want to go out you want to take your pictures you can wear these things like we ladies do these things guys it's getting dark so you have to bear with me i'm actually rushing this makeup in her own case she decided to go under the knife and we cannot judge her you don't know her reasons you don't know what her insecurities were before you go for this thing do your research and nigerians have this mentality that once people tell you they studied abroad it automatically means that they are good in what they are doing whereas that is not really the case sometimes they are actually not good in that you guys my makeup is very basic sometimes they are actually not good in if the fact that somebody schooled abroad or is abroad trained foreign trained doesn't mean that they are perfect in that job you have to do your research you have to meet people that have been there know what the aftercare is like because sometimes some of these things are things that could have been avoided like if the hospital had listened to her when she said she was bleeding obviously and taking precautions for it and try to fix the issue i'm sure she will still be here they didn't give two fucks about like what was going on with her and everything and then now also trying to hide it away from her friends find imagine them finding out days later like that their friend had died so they've been expecting her to be back from the whole process do your research know your body you know there are all these things that you have to know before you go ahead to do the procedure there's so many questions that should go into these things but i feel like nigerians we don't like to ask questions sometimes we just like to wing things and just you know see how it plays out another thing is that we also need to know that bbl is one of the most dangerous surgeries to do also we need to be honest with our doctors some people are not completely honest with their doctors about past procedures or issues that they have so this can also lead to unforeseen circumstances like this people are living very insensitive um comments the worst thing is that some of these people that we are trying to look like on the internet what i'm not even on their body they just know how to do really really good editing and you're like okay i want to have this type of body i don't like this person but to be honest they've not done their body they just know how to edit their pictures really nice and you you're there thinking that this person has done something to their body whereas that is not always the case lashes are the hot mess but will make you work for this night because literally just here anyways so i'm done doing my makeup this is how i look i look like a chick these earrings i got them from shane and they just elevated my look because my dress are pretty much very very basic they're nothing so serious and i'm going for a serious outfit as well i'll show you guys my outfit later on but that's it for this video if you want to do your body please do it right get it right pay a lot of money go abroad and get it right then trying to cut costs and doing it in nigeria and you don't get it right at the same time you come out looking funny if you if you see some of the people that have done their bodies in nigeria then they don't have the best surgery bodies you will find i'm sorry and most of the time some of them have to go back do some adjustment 
you guys if you don't want all of that just go and do it somewhere that you pay a lot of money and get what is what your money because i can't do so plastic surgery and still come out looking like a joke like it just doesn't make sense to me so guys this is the outfit of the day my top is from sheen my pants are from forever 21 my shoes was gifted to me by my friend i don't remember where it's from the bags you guys saw me unboxing in one of my vlogs and of course my earrings are from sheen um the ones on my hands are from shopee so yeah that's it follow me on instagram if you're not by the way and if you're new on my channel thank you for watching to this point like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys